One of the huge advantages to using Loop Cloud, in addition to cloud storage of your Loop Master's packs and consolidation of your entire sample collection, is the searching facility, where all samples have tags that can be selected to create filters for narrowing down results. For instance, to search for bongo loops by tags, I just choose it in the instruments list in the percussion section, and then choose loops using the filter results button. And then only samples tagged with bongo and loop in my library are shown in the results below. And I'm randomizing them at the moment, but I could turn that off to have them stay grouped into their packs and click on the name header to arrange them alphabetically. Also, the range of BPMs or tempo is quite wide right now. So if I want to narrow that down, I'd go into key and BPM and then set the range to something closer to my track. And if you've got the Loop Cloud plugin open in your door, you can just click on match tempo to have this set automatically to 10 BPM either side of your project tempo. Okay, I'm liking the sound of that, so I'll buy it, download it, and then import it straight into my door. To start a new search, you can use the crosses on each tag to remove them individually, or hit the home button to go again from scratch. So now I'll look at bass samples, and this time I'm typing in bass and then selecting the relevant tag that comes up below. And I'll look for loops again, and maybe narrow it down to just hip hop ones. Again by typing it and then choosing from the list, rather than opening up the genres section and selecting it there. And if I'm working in a specific key, I can choose that, this time by clicking on the tag directly in the results area, which is another way of doing it. Or in the key and BPM section, the keys on the keyboard can be turned on or off. Yeah, that's nice. So again, I'll buy it then download and drag it into live. The search field is also good for finding things that might not have a specific tag, like any Reese bass samples, as it's a classic type of bass and is generally named that way. Or for more abstract searches, like any samples with rude in the name. Or, more practically, you might want to look for any samples only in one particular pack, where you can type the prefix, so the first few letters at the start. And you can also find free samples, as all subscriptions come with a certain number of freebies. So you can just type free and then choose the tag, after which you can scroll through and check them out. And I could narrow down the search by typing in or choosing a tag if I want to look for something in particular, like a pad. then click the Buy button to add samples to your library without spending any points. Another facility with searching is Favourites. Often when I'm searching for a particular sample, I come across nice sounds, but not ones that I want to use right now. In that situation, I can favourite the sample, to save it for later as it were when I can just choose Show All Favourites from the menu, or activate the button in the search area to add that tag to a current search. Some other switches available for filtering results are the store and library ones. By default, any searches bring up samples from both your library and the store, so you can see the full range of what's available. But if you want to search purely in one or the other, 
you can deactivate the one you don't want. And furthermore, if I just want to view samples downloaded to my computer, which are indicated by this icon in the state field, there's a switch to enable that too. And the search field also offers some advanced features when browsing just within your own library currently, although these features should appear when searching in the store in the near future too. So let's say I'm searching for drum one-shots in my library, but I want to remove kicks, then I can type not kick after, and all samples with kick in the name will be removed. And this also works for tags, where I can remove drum now, and then type tag colon synth, which is now just looking at one-shots tagged with synth. So no different from just choosing the synth tag at this stage, but if I then type and not tag colon pad, then it's a clever way of removing any samples tagged with pad. If I was getting a few too many of them in the results and wanted a less ethereal sample perhaps. So some expert tips there for browsing your own library. If you're finding there's a particular search that you're doing a lot, clicking on the search icon reveals a menu where you can save the current search. This means at any point, you can bring it back up with a couple of clicks of the mouse. Sample locating has literally never been easier than in the latest version of Loop Cloud. So download the free app and check it out for yourself.